It appears as though men really don't see the harmfulness when sexually objectifying a woman. However, it is one of the leading causes of mental health problems. Women face plenty of gender oppression and are sexually objectified so often during their lifetime that it eventually leads to numerous decreases in their psychological well-being. Objectification ranges from unwanted and unnecessary commentary about a female's body, sexist jokes said in passing, inappropriate behavior, catcalling, and even sexual assault in the worst cases. Men who provide commentary to women who are clearly uninterested and uncomfortable is one of the most common forms of objectification, and this type of behavior spreads into misogyny and also advancements that could lead to rape. All of these events are usually excused by men, and women are told they are sensitive or dramatic. However, if a woman is telling you that they are clearly uncomfortable, who is a man to invalidate their feelings? Every example provided so far is just as great in magnitude and should be treated seriously. These behaviors from men towards women are extremely unacceptable and something men should not be proud to share. If anything, they should feel ashamed to cause future distress to the women who are the victims of sexual objectification. Today, sexual objectification is socially and culturally acceptable in the United States and ignored by others rather than viewed as a serious concern. However, this type of harassment towards women is one of the leading factors of sex abuse, trafficking, pedophilia towards younger girls, systemic sexism, and violence against women. Dr. Margaret Chance, the Director General of the World Health Organization, reveals concerning results showing that the shared characteristics of harassment and objectification against women is a worldly issue, not just something that happens to 100 women a year in a specific area. No matter how big or small the city is, this continuous harassment can be documented to women of all ages, races, and appearances. It becomes even more concerning when you realize how many of these women being objectified by men are actually girls. Studies show girls under 18 or around that age range are more likely to be catcalled for their appearance rather than a woman older than 30. This disgusting behavior does not stop at any age. If anything, it just becomes worse the younger they appear. In a social experiment, the documenter tracked the amount of times women felt objectified. The article quotes, Women reported being the target of a sexually objectifying event roughly once every two days. 55% of the events they recorded consisted of an objectifying gaze, while 11% were catcalls or wolf whistles. 10% were sexual remarks, and 4% were touching or fondling. These statistics provided by women just proves how common it really is to feel uncomfortable while simply walking, going to the store, or just trying to go home. If men cannot hold back from saying something in a situation where women are just walking past them, sometimes not even making eye contact with the male or talking to them, what makes it feel like it's okay to say something about their appearance? There are absolutely no boundaries for men with this overly invasive behavior, and it really crosses the line when women start to feel unsafe with the people around them and their surroundings. Women should not feel afraid to wear a skirt too short in public because someone might grope them, comment about the shortness, or objectify them. Women should not have to invest in so many protective devices such as pepper spray and handheld pocket knives in case they come in contact with a man that does not respect them. And women should not have to deal with the mental repercussions from sexual objectification. For a better understanding of what sexual objectification is, it happens when a woman's body is focused on and dealt with like an item. When physically objectified, the worth of a woman's body is valued based on its appearance and whether or not it appeals to the objectifier. Women are practically targeted from a bunch depending on how desirable they are to the man, if they are considered sexual based on their clothing, or for just no reason at all. In more than most cases, it's just the time and place of the woman. Objectification occurs when individuals make comments and insinuate sexual advancements, and this can make a woman feel extremely uncomfortable and in danger. The Interpersonal Sexual Objectification Scale documents personal experiences that involve objectification. This scale qualifies practices like catcalling, whistling, implying gazes, and unseemly remarks about a woman's body as objectification. This scale also qualifies practices like touching, grabbing, or groping someone without any consent. Experiments and documentation reveal that this sort of sexual objectification is normally directed by a complete stranger as opposed to an acquaintance. The setting of the majority of these experiences is in broad daylight spaces, just proving that it can happen absolutely anywhere. A majority of these behaviors are considered microaggressions. Gendered microaggressions are quite often sexist in nature and result in low self-esteem. 
As more and more women keep sharing encounters with others where they felt physically invaded, vulnerable, or in a potentially dangerous circumstance, the more researchers are beginning to calculate the amount of women sexualized. Women also face sexualization through the abuse of web-based social media. Social media platforms such as Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook are full of users ranging from young to old ages, and even people with sex offender histories. These platforms make it easy for men to prey on women from behind a screen without facing any real consequences. If men are afraid to display this disgusting behavior in real life to women, it is much easier to display it online and in direct messages or through comments. Women are harassed online with sexual messages that can lead to danger when they receive death threats, rape threats, and receive unwanted invasive photos. Female psychology research says that consistent openness to objectification for men, especially from a young age, can damage your mental health. Social encounters that involve commentary about the body in a sexual way creates an unsafe perspective of the body. Mental health issues such as watching calorie intake, weight issues, insecurity about appearance, and comparing one body to another body is the result of sexualization. This is called self-objectification because you are now commenting about your body rather than somebody else. Females who self-objectify themselves are found to have intrusive thoughts about their appearance, develop insecurities that didn't exist before, and seek attention from men once they've received it. Self-objectification can lead women to thinking harassment is a form of compliment rather than something to be scared of, and not taking the correct precautions with men that could be dangerous. Research has been able to connect self-objectification to an ordeal of mental health issues that require counsel or rehab. This includes eating disorders, depression, and body dysmorphia. All of these issues can lead to deeper level problems in the long run. This supports the notion that sexual objectification is one of the leading sources of women having mental health issues as they are more prone to developing self-objectification. It is important to understand that though men are the main perpetrators of sexual harassment, they are also exposed to this type of behavior and experience it. Sexual objectification awareness should not only be directed towards girls and women, but also to boys, men, and anything in between. Men should be aiming to make women feel comfortable in their presence rather than fearful. It's important to avoid any remarks that could suggest sexual advancements and learn to accept rejection or clear uninterest by a woman, rather than pushing boundaries. By doing so, women would feel much more safe when alone or even with other women.